What's up guys? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up Visual Studio Code for C++ development. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be ready to write, compile and run C++ code directly in VS Code. The first thing we need to do is set up the min-gw toolchain, which will provide the compiler and other tools necessary for building and running C++ programs. Head over to the Visual Studio Code documentation page, the link will be in the video description. Here, you will find a link to download the min-gw installer. After downloading the installer, run it to install msys2. Once the installation is complete, the msys2 shell will open. In this shell, we'll install the required toolchain. Paste the following command. You can copy this command directly from the same documentation page and paste it into the shell. This command will install the necessary development tools, including the GCC, and G++ compilers for C++. When the installation prompt appears, type Y and press Enter to proceed with the installation. The installation process may take a few minutes. Once it's finished, you can close the msys2 window. Before using VS Code to compile C++ code, we need to add the min-gw bin folder to the system's path environment variable, so that Windows can find the compiler. To do this, Search for Environment Variables in the Windows Start menu to open a control panel option called Edit the System Environment Variables. In the System Properties window, in the Advanced tab, click on Environment Variables. Under User Variables, find and select Path, and then click on Edit. In the new window, click New and then paste this path. Again, everything you need is on the documentation page. After adding it, Hit Enter and click on OK to close all the windows. Now, MinGW is added to your system path. Let's verify that MinGW is installed correctly. Open Command Prompt and type the following commands one by one to check if the necessary tools are available. GCC hyphen hyphen version, G hyphen hyphen version, and GDW hyphen hyphen version. If everything is installed properly, these commands will display the version of the GCC, G++ and GDB tools, confirming that the installation was successful. Now, let's move on to Visual Studio Code. Open VS Code and click on the extensions icon on the left-hand sidebar and use the shortcut Ctrl, Shift and X to open the extensions marketplace. In the search bar, type C++ and install the C slash C++ extensions pack. This extension provides IntelliSense, debugging support and other important tools for C++ development in VS Code. With everything set up, you can now create and run a C++ program. In VS Code, go to File, New File and create a new text file. To save the file, choose C++ as the file type and make sure the file ends with the .cpp extension. For example, save the file as main.cpp. You can now write your C++ code in this file. Once your code is ready, you can run it by pressing F5 to start debugging or using the Run and Debug feature from the sidebar. VS Code will automatically use the toolchain we installed earlier to compile and run your code. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.